Bobcats, welcome to Wacky Wednesday. I was talking to my parents about getting a summer job last night. They told me to dress for the job you want, not the job you have. So it's decided, I'm going as Batman. Here's your daily rundown. Here are some announcements for this homecoming week. Hey guys, look at the screen. Yes, at me. So today the student council is talking to you about recent events that are coming up. Today I'm going to talk to you about dress codes. Dress codes, especially of dress up days. Please, when we're doing dress up days, follow the dress up code, please. Because or we won't be able to do dress up days. And please, we want to do it in the future. From 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. on Thursday, there will be the Rally Rumble. We'll enjoy lawn games, music, and an inspirational speech by coach while we watch the football players destroy a car in our rival's colors. All ninth graders are invited to the homecoming rumble. <laughs> Rally rumble. Hey Bobcats, on Saturday, the ninth grade is allowed to go to the dance. The high school has invited us and make sure to please bring your student activity card to get in. It is $20 per person to for the entrance fee. No seventh or eighth graders allowed, like these two. Only ninth grade. Tonight is the Powder Puff game. Freshmen will play the juniors at 6 o'clock. The winner of that game will play against the winner of the sophomores and seniors at 8 o'clock. Good luck, girls. Show them what's up. Now let's hear it from Mrs. Chase with this week's Mental Health Minute. Hi, Bobcats. It's Mrs. Chase with this week's Mental Health Minute. Today, I want to talk about something really important. The way we talk about our feelings, especially when we're upset. Sometimes when we're going through tough times, we might say things like, I wish I could just hurt myself or I can't take this anymore. We may even try to say it as a joke, but using language like this can be alarming to others and isn't a healthy way to express what we're feeling. First, it's important to remember that words have power. When we express ourselves in ways that sound threatening or harmful, it can put a lot of pressure on our friends and even make them feel scared or helpless. Instead of using threatening language, try to share how you're really feeling. You might say, I'm really hurt and confused right now, or I need some space to think. This allows your friends to understand your feelings without being overwhelmed. When you're struggling with really difficult issues, there are much better ways to cope. Talk to someone you, you trust and can help you, like a parent, teacher, or school counselor. Try some activities that boost your mood and clear your mind. Let's create an environment where we support each other and use language that's safe and respectful. If you're feeling really down, reach out for help. You've got this. You're not alone, and there are people who care and want to support you. Stop by the counseling office if we can help. And that's this week's Mental Health Minute, brought to you by the counseling office. Thank you, Mrs. Chase. We appreciate the help. Student, students, picture retakes will be next week on the 26th. If you want to retake your picture, or if you didn't get your picture taken at the beginning of the school year, here's your chance. The Fall Ping Pong Tournament will start next week. You can sign up on the bulletin board by the library or in the game room. See Mr. Allison if you have any questions. There will be prizes for the winners. What will the prizes be? Maybe it will be glow-in-the-dark toilet paper. You'll have to show up to find out. Well, Bobcats, that's all for us today. Have a wacky Wednesday. Now, please stand, remove any hats, and join us in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag, flag 